Welcome to B-Roll Conversations. My name is Cyril Zuma. I am your host for the show. I am chilling today with an amazing photographer. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I mean, they look a bit weird, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're just saying. How do saying, I look? Okay, that's cool. That's How do I look? Do I look different? <laughs> he's a DJ, by the way, so yeah, he's, probably, up, like, he's you know, probably judging me right no, now. No, I'm not judging you at all. Like, in my mind, I'm like, okay, cool, what's so what you doing? Yeah, so I'm actually trying to hear the feedback. I'm trying to hear all the feedback that I can I can get because I know there's dogs barking and his taxis are quite a hoot up yeah, here. Yeah. But we sound good for now. That's dope. Yeah, we're in a cool space though. Yeah, thank I'm you so happy. thank you so much, bro. So let, let me introduce you first uh, before you introduce yourself because I know you definitely want to introduce yourself. So today I am chilling with an amazing photographer again. As I, as I've said, he is a commercial photographer. Um, You've been doing some of the most amazing work, specifically for VW, Red Bull. I've seen work for um, ETV. I've seen work for Hunters. Dude, like you're such an amazing photographer. I am probably downplaying your introduction. So please, can you introduce yourself? I mean, you're a father too. Um, yeah. Can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? All right. So, geez, who do you even start? Um, my name is Mpumele Mbashi. Born and raised in Soweto. Um, started this photography thing around like, Jesus, 2008, I think? 2008. Eight, yeah, 2008, nine. Started off as a graphic designer and I like, moved into the photography, you know? Yeah. And I mean, I know you're saying I'm amazing, but like, that's, I don't know, man. I mean, I think I'm as good as I can, like, I can push myself to be. Yeah, I mean, look, the, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I think it's also always good to. Push I think it's good to look back, bro. I think, Um, let's let's go back to 2018, actually, when you started. What was the photography scene like in general compared to what what it is now? And you've been around for quite a long time now. I mean, you know, you're almost almost going for the 10-year mark, and that's super impressive on your own as a photographer. Actually, finally, because it's like more than that. (laughs) Exactly. 13 years, right? It's more, yeah. So it's 13 years in, uh, I mean, I've I've got like one of the longest standing relationships with one client. Like the Red Bull, I've been working with them for like over 10, like it's 10 years now. Well, yeah. it's 11 years this year. But yeah, I mean, back then, like the photography scene was like, we only had a few guys that you like could really see in our space, you know, like, because I was very much into like the lifestyle stuff. Yeah. You know, so I mean, it started off with a blog. Like, we had a blog in 2008. You still have a blog now, though? Yeah, I mean, I still do, but I mean, it's like, I mean, that was the definition of a blog. <laughs> okay. okay <laughs> you know what I mean? Instagram like, is a blog yeah, too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like back then, it was like, so you had, I mean, everyone had like either a WordPress blog oh, yeah. or like a Tumblr. Yeah. Tumblr used to Tumblr, be a thing. Dude, you know? dude. Tumblr used to be a thing, you know? Um, so yeah, like I started off with that. Like, so um, when I started, I was like, going to a lot of events. I did a lot of like launches and stuff. Yeah. Um, I started t- taking a lot of photos of those places. Like, I mean, I remember when 70 Twitter was oh, like, you know, yeah. you know, yeah. that was like when, before Abraham found it, it was Abraham. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Before it was, no, it was probably Abraham. Like, I think it Abraham much. Yeah. Like, before that, yeah. you know, that was like Abraham. It was just buildings, I'm sure. I mean, no, I mean, no, I can't even no know. restaurants. I mean, you had like restaurants in me, like, here and there. I mean, like, Kitchener's is like long standing. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Kitchener's yeah. is long standing. Yeah. But yeah, like so places like 72 Juta that would launch and stuff and I like rolled and like I had this red back like backpack camera bag thing and I could travel with it everywhere. Yeah. You know, sometimes you get scared, especially when you're tired, because oh, you're like, hey, when people CBD. start seeing this thing, yeah, like, everywhere yeah. you're going, you yeah. put this thing with you. you yeah. Know? Yeah. So yeah, it felt like uh felt like I was a backpacker, like <laughs> 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 this camera yeah. thing, all the time. But I didn't really start with the camera as well. I mean, it started off, like I said, I started off as a graphic designer, you know, static graphic design, um, kind of missed my, it was kind of weird like how I was studying, because I could, like, so I started off at a uh, college campus, which was more of like a business school than it was like a, 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 a creative school, you yeah, know? Yeah. So did like a couple of years there, and then when I was done there, I was like, ah, this portfolio that I have is not going to give me any Know? Yeah, and I was like, nah, I wasn't feeling comfortable with it, you know. And a friend of mine was like, No, there's a place called City Varsity, uh, let's check it out. 
Anyways, my mom's like, hey, dude, this is as much as I can go. You know, this is as much as I can go in terms of studying. Yeah. I mean, I've got you as far as I think you can go. So was this, now, business, was this business school? So it was more of a business school. I mean, like, but like my studies were more graphic design. Okay. But it was like spoon fed. Like, okay. Like, so it's like literally like they tell you exactly what to do. Okay. So it was like, ah, oh, no, Photoshop, move an inch. Okay. Move an inch, uh, in, you know, okay. Like, yeah. It was pretty much like, like intro level. A graphic design, you know, like we got, kind of got to learn the programs and stuff. So I spent a lot of time like at home, yeah, with the laptops. So my aunt had like this little laptop that she had, like, a PC at that time. It was a laptop, okay. So, okay. It was a laptop, but like I kind of adopted it. So, okay, she, like, she used to travel a lot, so yeah. she'd leave it behind, and I'd be there with like crack Photoshop, <laughs> you know, there with like a crack Photoshop, trying to figure my way around this thing, yeah, you know. But anyways, and, and then it went into went to City Varsity, did one year in City Varsity, so kind of missed, so I got into City Varsity second year, whereas first year they did like fundamentals of like photography and those okay. kinds of things, so okay. I missed that. Okay. You know, I went in straight as like, oh no, we're doing graphic design. Did, did you have like, a camera at that time? No, I didn't. Okay. I didn't have a camera at all, like I used to have like a phone that, like, that was even before I started doing, like had an interest in photography. Yeah. You know, it was like before, it was just like, no, graphic design, I really wanted to I mean, it was based on the fact that like, I used to do graffiti back in the day. Okay. You know, so I was like, how do I make this thing? Uh, how do I commercialize this? Yeah. Thing? Was this you a, know? digital must have been like a thing back then, or was, when you started out, or was it already a thing in general? Look, I mean, it was early stages of like digital. I mean, and the internet. Like, you think about like, and I, and I guess like digital marketing, like, okay. if I have to put it that way. Yeah. The yeah. internet that been around for a while. Yeah. You know? yeah. So, people picking up like interest in terms of like digital marketing and stuff was pretty like fresh, you know? Yeah. So when I went to City Varsity, I was studying multimedia design and production, which was like everything from design, like pure design to animation, to video editing, oh, like sure. all kinds of stuff. So, so you like, can oh, animate that? Yeah, I mean, I, know, I, mean, I haven't <laughs> done it in a while. Yeah, yeah but, but I can, I like, yeah. I mean, I, okay. I'm going to ask you these questions later because you did some logos for a few companies too. But yeah. is, is that where you learned all of this? Basically? Yeah, so that's okay. where, yeah, so that's where it all started, like, you know, so, and then I guess, like, being involved in, like, a lot of, like, social things and like, having friends that are doing really cool things in the lifestyle space, like, yeah. you know, street, streetwear and those kind of stuff, where, like, I got to design for, like, PCs, you know? Yeah. yeah. And those, even those guys, like, I was doing quite a lot of, like, flyers and logos and things like I mean flyers for them before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They even got frustrated by like using the logo that they had before. I was like, ah guys, like this we need to find a way of like because it was a JPEG logo. Yeah. And I was just like, yo, every time I use this thing, I need to like find a way of making it a PNG. <laughs> yeah. No, it's just like a headache. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work just to get this logo like yeah. in a, you know what I mean? Yeah. In, yeah. in a design. And then I ended up um hitting up with G and I was like, dude, like I don't like that. I could actually like just like rebrand you guys, like, or even just give you a logo. Like rebrand and is like going a bit too far. Sure, sure. <laughs> like, just I can give you, you know, a decent logo. A decent logo. Is this now before you even start the photography part? I think because you're still at City Varsity. Actually, no. Actually, it was no. I'm actually taking the story in a lot of places. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking it in a lot of places. Yeah. Okay, let's take it. Like, I, I think it'll kind of fit in, and you kind of see where things kind of went. Yeah. You know. So when I was still in school, like the photography wasn't really. Yeah. You know, it was just design. Okay. Just design. And then I uh, started working for advertising agencies. So I started off working at, um, at Ogilvy. Yeah. Started off at Ogilvy. I was interning there. And then. As a graphic design. Yeah. As a graphic, as a multimedia design. So, okay. Uh, did my internship there and then got the job. Okay. And then the world kind of opened up. Yeah. So, yeah. You know, because now I was like in within this advertising machine. Your you know, clients are here basically. The clients are there. Well, I mean, like, you know, fast forwarding now, like, yeah. you know, it's like going back there. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's like full circle. Yeah, yeah. Right. You know, so the world kind of opens up and once the world opens up, I'm, 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 I'm exposed to like images that I've never seen before, things that I've never seen before. Is this in you know briefs I mean? and just like people in general? And also being in that space. Yeah, you know, yeah. You know, it's just like, this advertising thing, I mean, Ogilvy has always been like top, like, was that oh, yeah. dream job? Oh, like, yeah. How you start off there, yeah, yeah, you know, it's yeah. like it's like you're starting off 
like before you so yeah, like you're starting to really get like <laughs> PSN yeah, like, yeah, and like, is definitely you know the like you're, you're, you're playing there you know but anyways like I mean I did three years there in those three years so I was traveling quite a lot between like um, at home and 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 yeah, you know, so I was trying to take the bus. Yeah, okay. Every day, bus, same thing, bus home, bus to work. Yeah, but like every time, so I started playing around. Like I used to have a, a Nokia, what was it, 5800 yeah. Express Music. Wow, it was like it's like a Britney, <laughs> like it was like so it was kind of like what Nokia was doing then was kind of competing with Sony Express Music. Okay. So it was kind of, I think it was actually a collaboration with Sony, yeah, yeah, Sony Express Music. I don't even know that phone actually. Yeah. But it was a, it was, it was a but functional was, phone. Functional phone had a camera. Okay. Had a camera and then I started taking photos of my phone. Just random stuff. Just random stuff. In the on bus. The bar, yeah. like on the bus. You know, like a bus, they have a bus, they have a stuff, people are sleeping, <laughs> people are open up windows, oh, yeah. you know, you're in traffic. And yeah. then you start, and then I started seeing things like, well, it's like, oh, I like, I like the way the light is shining through the window yeah. on a misty day. Yeah. Or like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, or things like that. It's like, okay, it's early morning sun. Sun's hitting like, so I remember I took a photo of this lady who had dreadlocks and she was like, she was sleeping, but like, she had like a big bug. Yeah. So the light was like, so the, the light, the light was hitting her hair, and it had like a bit of like a highlight on like the edges. You know? and I was like, yes, it's a light. Like that sparkle. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like yeah. having that little light. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I like that thing. You know? Like I didn't, and and, I, and and back then I didn't even know what it meant. Sure. You know? yeah, yeah. Didn't, didn't know click. What it meant. Didn't didn't click at all. Yeah. You know. Um. And then I started taking photos, and then I I, I think. Got my first camera. I actually got my first camera around 20, 2009. That's when I got the camera. Okay, was it a Nikon? It was a Nikon D one hundred. Oh wow! <laughs> so you've been you've been a fan of this. I started thing. off there, bro. Okay, like I started off. It's a loyalty. There. But I mean, I guess it's like you know, if I, if if you learn how to write with the right hand, yeah, I mean, you know what okay, I mean? yeah, makes you sense. Right hand, sure. You know, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, strong on your left. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that kind right. of vibe. It's like for me, I'm left handed, but I use my Mouse on the right. Oh yeah. I learned how to, yeah. Oh wow. Okay. You know, so I used my mouse on the right because I learned how to use the mouse on the right. <laughs> yeah. And it was the, it was always weird to like kind of shift the Sh- mouse around. Yeah. You know what I mean? The right so click like, is now the left click. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So Nikon the, same thing. I like, started off with them. D what D one hundred. D one hundred. Like that thing had a screen that was smaller than like. If the phone. You think, if you think about like a. <laughs> yeah, it was smaller than the phone. Like even back in the, the first <laughs> back in the day, I'm going to take it to the ten. Like, sure. It was like that big. Yeah. It was like I think it was like five megapixels. Oh wow. Like, yeah. Five megapixels. But back then it didn't matter. It was big. It was big. It was like five, <laughs> yeah. five, six megapixels. It didn't matter back then. It didn't matter because I was like, I mean, I I was, I was really trying to get into that because I got like, I got the bag. You know, yeah. And I was like shooting on the on the bus and stuff. Oh, yeah, really got the bag. Where did you buy the camera? Because I know mine, I bought it in the middle of Santon. Yeah. I bought it from someone. Okay. So I bought it from somebody in the agency. I was like, no, I'm selling this camera in, 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 in. And I was like, oh, cool. Actually, yeah. I think I need this thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I didn't even know what I was doing. Sure, so sure. I was like, okay, cool. I'm going to buy this thing. And also, too, it's just like being in that space, I'm advertising. Like, I'd, I'd look at all of the images I'd see and I'm like, yes, I wonder how they take these images. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the more I got like into it, the more I was like enjoying it. You know, I was like, yes. You know, I love how like I mean I don't even I don't even know how many sun sunset photos. <laughs> Dude, you know what I mean? Like, that's that's where start. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, sunset photos, walking. So I mean I, I remember even moving from from Missouri to to Branston because I like wanted to be close to work. You yeah, know? yeah. So I was like a walk away from work. And you'd literally like the sun had set like um and the direction of where I used to live. So whenever I like, whenever I'd go go home, yeah. So I'd catch the sunset. Okay. So it'd always be like um uh, traffic light, clouds, <laughs> yeah. sunset. And okay. you're trying to get the perfect you know I mean? you're trying to get the perfect free yeah, yeah. even though you don't even know what <laughs> yeah. you know I mean? As long as it looks good. It looks cool, man. Yeah. Green lights, you know, and then like there's this red, like 
orange is in the back with the sunset. Oh, you know, yeah. Clouds. Would you like, say? I'd be mad like every time there was no clouds. <laughs> 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 ah, come on. There's no detail in the sky. How do I expose <laughs> that? You know what oh, I mean? Of course, you can just get a completely yeah, white sky. Just like, oh, oh. You know what I mean? It's like, ah, oh, no. But like, you still get like the orange tone. You yeah. don't get the much, yeah. much of the detail because the clouds catch that. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah. So would you say you've always been a creative person in general, like just a creative kid even growing up, or yeah. is it something that bit you later on? No, actually, yes, I started off with drawing. Like, I mean, like I said, I started off as a, like, I used to do graffiti back in the day. Okay, yeah. But I used to draw a lot. Like, okay. My uncle used to be an artist. Like, he, might, he wasn't really an artist, but he was like really good at drawing. Yeah, yeah. So like every every now and then, me and him would like, spend too much time with like, one and like sketching and stuff. So when I was a kid, like I'd literally be like, on the floor with like tons of people like tons of people on the floor yeah and like my folks would be like oh tell me how to add you know what I mean like that kind of vibe it was just like you know that's the that's the that's the space that I was in you know I always wanted to sketch um yeah so I guess I started like it was yeah I've always been a creative kid man okay you know, yeah yeah been. You know, and I guess that's why I do quite a lot of things as well. You know, it's not just like the photography only. Can you tell us what actually, what else do you do? Because <laughs> I, one thing I know, you're a DJ, Mr. Mo. Yeah. And I've heard some of your mixes actually, wow. So you need to tell us too, like the music, where does the music even fit in? I mean, like you, 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 you could become a DJ. I mean, so the DJing thing started off, I mean, I, I was DJing in high school. Oh, wow. At parties? So, like, so... Yeah, right about high school, started off DJ when I was doing back then I was DJ in house. Okay. It was just house, deep house. Um I mean I grew up in a in an area, like a PNB living. There was a lot of musicians that were there. Yeah. Like the music thing was like in the family as well. You yeah. Know, we had family yeah. friends who were like in the, like, you know, were in the London Keys and people like oh, that yeah, were like very much in the music. You yeah. Know? So the music thing was already in the family. So you know, so I grew up like like with a very heavy like music background, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. A family that was like really, really into it, you know? So for me, music was has always been part of the journey. Yeah. And it's always been part of the journey. It's like I always believe that there's a subject for any moment. Oh yeah? You know? So what's so, okay. I've got a question for this now. You spark something great. Keep it keep it going. <laughs> you know, there's a soundtrack for every moment. But like I'm a huge music fan first. Yeah. Like, and the DJ thing was just like it, it's and even moving towards like I mean, used to be Mofa back then, and became the Mo Twenty Four. The yeah. Mo Twenty Four was um, my graph name actually. So okay. I used to do graffiti. Used yeah. Mo Twenty Four, you know, and then I don't know where the mister came from, <laughs> <laughs> but it was just like I didn't have a good enough stage name. So I was like, ah, you Mr. know what? I just put Mister Mo Twenty Four and make sure. an official thing. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. But. But yeah, like even when I moved over to like, you know, and I started like the music kind of take took a turn. Like, it was just like from house, uh friends of mine, like Susan Kwanazi, like they, the guys who taught me how to DJ. Yeah. You know, they they actually we got into a point where we started listening started listening to a lot of different stuff. You know, started listening to a lot of like loungy stuff, trip hop. You know, like different kind of vibe and that kind of shifted things for me. Yeah. You know, and then from there I got introduced to Mark Farina. Mark Farina. You don't know Mark Farina, do yourself a favor. Mark Farina, Mushroom Jazz, one to five, six up, I'm not so sure about but Mushroom Jazz one to five. Yeah. Kind of shaped everything for me. Because okay. it was like the only time I could hear um a guy doing beats. R and B, hip hop, it's like in you know, a one mix. Oh sure. it's so it's just like, like a, it's different genres. It's like different genre. Like it's kind of in the same, kind of in the same range of music. Yeah. But like from different spaces, you know okay, what I mean? Yeah. Different like it could be like hip hop here and there, little yeah. bit of lounge. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like that kind of vibe, like kind of pushing the boundaries of what like a normal a normal set would be. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean and and, and like, like I guess playing piano or hip hop only or or yeah. Afro, whatever, Afro beats or whatever it may be. Okay, that's interesting. So what's your soundtrack to your life right now, actually, since it's a soundtrack to every moment? I mean, we briefly spoke outside a little bit and then... Um, um, soundtrack right now? Yeah. I think 
I think I'm at a point where I can say like I'm living my life like it's golden. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, I'm living just my life like yeah. yeah. Oh, what you a beautiful song was actually. Uh, and I think, and I think, it's not, it's not a, it's not a, it's not just a celebratory thing yeah. for me. It's just like you're starting to see a lot of things fall into place. Yeah. You know, uh, it's like you've been polishing this thing. Yeah, for and a it's while. Starting to shine. Yeah, you know, yeah. And see that shine coming through. You know what I mean? So yeah. it's like yeah. In my life, like it's called. So, do you feel like you've actually at at a certain pinnacle in your career? Because let's put it this way: I mean, you're a Nikon affiliate. You, you work with these amazing brands. You are doing such amazing things. You're owner of Basements Pixels. You're also mm-hmm. a DJ. You like you've got so many skills. Um, do you feel like now you're at a, a pinnacle of your career? I think you know. What, like for me, it's always been it's always been the dream. Yeah. You know, it's always like because I don't feel like we'll, we'll ever get to the to the finishing point, right? Like where you're like, oh yeah, I'm dope. Yeah. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't improve no you more. Can't, you can't, you can never get to that point. You yeah. Know, it's funny because I was having a chat with a client and I, you know, and, and, and they were like, oh yeah, we're trying to get you to be like this, like, you know, because I'm doing car photography a lot now. Yeah. Like I'm not, but I'm still early, like in some early stages of that. Yeah. You know. I'm, you're still I'm, learning yourself. I'm still learning yeah. myself, you yeah. know. Yeah. She was like, no, I want to put you in spaces. We want to put you like, you know, that, the guys are really doing it on like a commercial level and that kind of vibe. Yeah. They do quite a lot of lunches and stuff with, uh, with the clients, you know? And, and she was like, yeah, you're keen on that. And I'm like, yeah. Of course. I'm willing to learn. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. It doesn't really, that's what I'm saying. It's like, it's the journey. Yeah. Because I feel like once you stop learning, then you die. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's very true. Like, stop learning, you, you die. Or you, you've lost interest in what you're doing. Yeah. You know, because the more interested you are, the more you want to learn, the more you want to grow. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I, I can't really say like I'm in, I'm at my peak if I have to put it down. Let's, let's put it this way: Do you feel like you're more stable? You've got a, you've got you, you sort of you know what you're doing now, in your, yeah. and you know what you're good at. You know what you can sing about. And this is, I mean, I would probably say this has been a true attributed to all the work you've been doing all these mm-hmm. years. So I think, like, like you're saying now, like I feel like now I can confidently say that I'm. That I know, that I know, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Back in the day when it all started. Yeah. yeah. So like, I mean, but even then, I mean, I could look at like, some of the photos I shot from like last year, for instance, or well, you know, before the world went into, you know. Yeah, which is 2019, <laughs> early 2019. Yeah, 2019. Like, I mean, best year of my life. Yeah. Like, you know, because then it was like second year uh, of going into photography full time. Oh wow. Because I, because I, I, it was always like a side hustle. Okay. You know, so I was pushing photography and agency at the same time. Okay. You know, as, so as a graphic designer at the agency. As a graphic designer. Okay. Like, I mean, advertising for me kind of taught me a lot of things as well. Yeah. Like, in how I shoot now. Yeah. You know, so all of that graphic design knowledge, like, of course, you know, kind of influences how I shoot. Yeah. Like, you know, and even even like, even how we have briefings with clients. You yeah. know, like clients will be like. Oh yeah, so we want you to shoot this thing, this for a campaign, whatever, and I'm like, where is it gonna live? Yeah, sure. The whole page spread it, yeah. I'll copy on it. You understand you know, so you're not having it. those questions, yeah. you're like, like <laughs> <"What's> <laughs> hey, why are you asking us about like graphic design questions? Well, yeah. like I need to understand so sure. I know what I'm uh, so I know what I'm shooting sure, for. You sure, know what I mean? sure, sure. So yeah, so I guess like I can say but I am I'm, I'm at a point where I'm confident about like what I'm doing. Yeah. But open enough to like put myself into like put myself in a, in a comfortable situation where I'm shooting something that I've never shot before. Dude, and you do you so many of those. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I've seen yeah. some things where I'm just like, that person is on the roof. Yeah. And like, how did you get lighting there? How did you get you know all of those things? It's, it feels like it's such a lot of it's such a lot of work. So I want to ask then, what pushed you to actually like say I want to go full time in this? I mean. You know, you were probably you were let's say you were getting a double salary, just put it down yeah. from the agency and you were also doing photography. At what point did you decide I actually need to go full time and I, I feel like I can do this? I think when the graphic design started suffering. Okay. <laughs> like, you know, when the yeah. graphic design like at the agency work started suffering, that's when I felt that, you know what, this is and also I'm I'm enjoying what I'm doing more. Yeah. Not that I, ne- I never loved graphic design, but like I got to a point where the photography was like all I could think about. Okay. Even when I'm like, at work, <laughs> yeah. just like, that's a can't wait to get up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I want to um, work with this person, whatever. Yeah, yeah. you know, and, yeah. and even then, like, you know, you throw yourself like out there, you know what I mean? You're just like, I'm working with whoever. I 
I'm jumping on certain projects where sometimes it's not even about the money. You know yeah. what I mean? It's just like, I want to be in the space where I'm shooting with Black Coffee, for instance. Yeah. So yeah. I'm shooting with, with whatever artist I want to shoot with. You yeah. Know? yeah. So, yeah, when, when the work started like suffering, and I guess it was like a clean break for everyone because, like, the agency. So, I mean, a lot of like the Red Bull work I was doing was getting like quite a lot. Okay. Because I was like, because I've kind of always been the only person in Joburg shooting for Red Bull. Okay. You know, so the work kind of started piling up. For you, yeah. And then, and then, yeah, like my, my, my agent, like advertising stuff, like, was suffering, you know? But I was just like, I need to make a decision. Sure. You know, and even when I made a decision, it, it was, I was actually in a bitter stage as well because. Advertising got to a point where it was just like frustrating. Yeah. You know, uh, it was frustrating just because like I felt like people like felt like people didn't understand what I was trying to do. <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. And, 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 and with a lot of projects like I try and bring a lot of myself into them. And like people like all of my creative directors would never really like understand what I was doing. Sure. You know yeah, I mean? like, yeah. So it got a bit like frustrating and then it got to a point where it was like, oh, there's a bit of micromanagement here and there. Sure, and yeah. It's like, yeah, 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 whatever. Yeah. I was focused on other shit. Sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never it's done now. <laughs> <laughs> and it's done now. It's done now. <laughs> it's, done now. <laughs> it's done now. But like, you know, so it got to a point where I was just like, yeah, I need to make a decision. I mean, there's a, there's a crazy yearning this side of like being in photography. Yeah. But at the same time, like, you know, there's this, it's like, being taught in between two worlds was like I've spent so much time like grafting and advertising yeah. and being a graphic designer. Do you want to throw that also, away? Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like it's like yeah, it's like being in a relationship that you don't really want to be in anymore, yeah. but yeah. like you're holding on because of the years. There's something good in the yeah. You know Those like years like the, yeah, you're holding on because of the years, yeah. not really because like you're feeling fulfilled. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there was something else like beyond the horizon of just the advertising work, you sure, know what I mean? Sure. So it's just like I felt like that that jump and I mean twenty eighteen did the jump first year and I did a lot of Red Bull work and a lot of stuff like started coming through and it was like it, it was like somebody said to everyone, who is freelancing? Yeah, let's go. Like let's go. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It bless sounds like a bless. Twenty nineteen, like best year of my life. Like I had like something ridiculous like eighteen flights. Like Shucks. the whole year. Like Shucks. You're flying all over the place, doing all kinds of stuff. Yeah. Did some stuff in Uganda. Like, you know what I mean? Like, there was a lot of stuff. And it was just, and the, the funny part about it is that it was never, all of the work that I've, I've actually, all of the work that I've, I've ever gotten, never marketed for it. Oh, I've wow. never actively, like, been yeah. like, okay, I'm going to sell whatever. I'm going to do pamphlets or whatever it is. Yeah. Like, promote posts and stuff like that. Yeah. It's always been connections and, 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 and relationships that I've built with people like over the years. Also and in this, in the advertising like industry. Advertising, yeah. in the streets, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. You know, and like, um, and like the most important thing is that we, we never really know how people move. You know, it's like somebody who, for instance, a friend of mine who used to work at like Channel O, used to hit up Nike. Okay. You know, and we used to be like big homies. Well, yeah. we're still big homies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But it was just like that relationship that was started when we when she was still at, at, at Channel O kind of carried on. And yeah. started like at a later stage, like work together at Nike because she could see what I was doing. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. just always kind of been like the word of mouth thing, you know what I mean? So yeah. Would you say agency then has helped you like understand number one client a client briefs understand what client wants the deliverables um a bit better than maybe perhaps if you just didn't have that experience i think so yeah, yeah i think so i think i think it helped a lot like and like i said in terms of just like frame of mind and like just knowing how exactly to execute stuff for like high level stuff yeah i have to put it that way yeah because like i always kind of push to like make sure that the work even though it's like even if it could be an event or like a launch, for instance, like a launch for me, that like yeah. the work that I want to produce there should be like at a, at a, at a standard where you could put it on an average. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. that kind of stuff. Like yeah. it's always been pushing for that. Like adding flashes, having, like having a lot of gear, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know, adding a lot of gear and a lot of things and yeah. thinking about a lot of things, you know? So yeah, it has helped a lot, John. Like, Cause yeah, without that, I think, I think the work that I do wouldn't have, the edge that it has. Yeah. Like, and I, and I, I 
Hi guys, I'm Bromila Lamaka. I'm a commercial photographer, and you tuned in to Real Conversations with Cyril Zuma. We've talked about a lot of work, and we talked about um, the work that you've done, the amazing work that you've done, the clients that you've worked with. Can you just tell me a little bit about the, the, the Twitter group that you currently have? I am African Photographers, what is it called on Twitter? Yeah, so African Photographers, just the community. So, so I mean, it's a hard start of this thing. It's like, I mean, we obviously want to play around the features of, the, of, of these apps. Right? Of course, so yeah. Like, oh, we'll see, when I saw the community thing, I was like, what is this thing? Yeah. And I started looking into it, started seeing like music photographers like, doing their own thing and whatever. And I was like, Oh, cool. This, this is actually quite a cool thing yeah. because already we've got like, quite a lot of people that are on Twitter oh, yeah. that are doing posting work every single day. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, actively. Um, actively. I mean, a lot of people don't know that we also have a WhatsApp group. Yeah, yeah. And you know, the WhatsApp true. group also can get like a bit like tricky. True. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a little tricky. I'm going to leave it and come back every now and then. Yeah, you know? yeah. Um, but I felt like it was like a cool space to, to kind of create for everyone to have kind of like a neutral space for everyone, like safe space, you can ask questions, whatever, you don't have to like put it out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it kind of groups it nicely, which you can say some stuff in the community, you can, you can put some stuff out there. Yeah, yeah. You know, and, and, and the idea was just to create that safe space, like, you know, guys DM you every day and like, oh yeah, how did you do this? How did you do that? Yeah. Guys with my feedback yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So rather, it being like a one-on-one, sometimes it's things that I can't I probably wouldn't be able to answer. Yeah. You know, because I can't answer. If I don't have an answer for every single day. That's true. Yeah, yeah. So you might be in a space that I am not really familiar with. Yeah. Like if you if you say something on the community, then you know somebody might pick it up. Yeah. You know, I know there's one guy that posted now, it's like, ah, oh, cool, posting like portraits, black and white, or color. Yeah. Uh, and then you start seeing the interaction. People are like, oh, like, you know, like I was like, so the guy posted like portraits and they felt a little bit like overly like process. Yeah. It's like, yeah, dude, like, they look cool. Yeah. But the problem is now you're losing. You know how people do the whole frequency separation thing and it's like, yeah, they go a little bit overboard yeah, sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, and then it looks like a dog part two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's animated. Yeah. Like, there's no texture anymore. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, no that kind of vibe, yeah. You know, and, and that's the kind of space that like, I wanted to create. You to, whenever you, whenever you feel like you need, even if you need help, yeah. even if you need, um, a lens and you're in, like you're in, you're in Joburg, you're somewhere, you need assistance forever. Yeah. You can put stuff out there. I mean, I mean, also guys haven't like really done anything on the space. I mean, it's fairly new. Yeah. yeah. And I guess it's like the more we kind of interact with the space, the more people will also like be open to, you know, play in that space as well. Yeah, for sure. I, I, I definitely want to say I love the space. Um, and in fact, what you're doing, just the community aspect of things, dude. I mean, you know, we, we've been speaking about this for a while. Community is so important. We just talked about, you know, photographers that you've grew up with, that you grew up with that are so, are so amazing, like Jeff. And, you know, you two have been friends since, and you, but you're competing too at the same time. But that community aspect of it is, is so amazing, you know, to some degree. <laughs> Not really competing. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Not really competing. And, like, and I actually want to talk to that point about competing because yeah. I feel like it's a, you know, online social media has a tendency of making people go into it. Oh, yeah. yeah. So who's the best? Yeah. Who's whatever. At know, this, yeah, yeah. Who's the best at this? Who's doing this? But like, at the end of the day, like, I feel like the biggest competition is yourself. Yeah. You know, um, for me, I'm like, I'm just lucky that like, I know quite a lot of the guys in the space. You know, the guys that I grew up with. Uh, and there's guys that are new also that I'm looking at. I'm like, oh, these guys are doing some really hot stuff. You know, and I'm like, I feel like I'm genuinely interested in what everyone is doing. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it's because like I really love the game that much. Yeah. You know, so yeah, the competition thing needs to end, man. Like everyone's being, like everyone's doing their own thing. Everyone's creating their own lane. You know, you can't, like, I can't be out there trying to shoot that cells. Yeah, it just won't happen. It won't be but the same. Not, but it's not, it's never going to work yeah, anyway. Yeah. Like, I mean, there's a certain right. level of like, I mean, I believe that there's like, everyone's got like their own like their own backgrounds their own perspectives yeah. and that kind of stuff we can all like I mean we, I can invite everyone to wherever we're going for instance yeah. and we can all shoot it differently yeah. because we all see it in a different way that's very true you yeah. know like for me I've got the theoretical training if I have to put it that way yeah. I've been working with the brand for so long and I know what the brand is actually looking for yeah. you know someone else might come in and say 
hey, I think the brand needs to do this, you know? And that's not a bad thing. That's fresh, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And also that might be a first take too. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be a thing you need to compete in. It's like everyone should just start staring and then do their own thing. You know, I mean, we a lot of us have anxiety and stuff already. So if I'm competing against somebody else, mm. it just becomes a problem. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? And these are self-inflicted yeah. ones, yeah. You know what I mean? So, and that's really like at a pitch. I mean, just like recently, me and Jeff are pissed against <laughs> yeah. you know. Uh, and even then, it's just like, it speaks to the same thing. It's yeah. like the client will, will choose whatever perspective they think works for what they're trying to do. For sure. It doesn't mean that Jeff is any less of a photographer. Sure. He That's true. shot the top and stuff. He's been shooting top on that for a long time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So it doesn't mean that we're like, we're better than each other or whoever's better than each other, like whoever, because they want a pitch. Yeah. It doesn't mean that. It's just that you just came with a fresh approach yeah. or they liked what you, what you were pitching. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I love that. I mean, I really do. It's the, it goes back to the community thing, the Twitter community that you have, and it's all about just sharing information. You see James' yeah. work; it's amazing. Doesn't mean that you're competing with him. It just means that you're also doing your own thing and running your own lane. If client chooses you, then that's amazing. Mm-hmm. You touched a little bit on anxiety. I want to talk about mental health just a little bit. My previous episode was on mental health, and for me, it really struck home. You know, after the death of Ricky Rick, I think it just was even more elevated. Um, it felt a bit more personal. What's your take on mental health right now in the industry for photographers? You know, we we have this pressure of always having to deliver images, always having to deliver the, the most amazing work, always have to be online. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. what's your what where? How do you? What's your take on the mental um, health in, in the creative space? I think I think the biggest thing. Like, I mean, like, I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the point of like the whole competition thing and all of those things. Like. Sometimes you create our own like, unnecessary pressures. Yeah. Like, looking at somebody else and like, being asking, yeah, why is this one getting opportunities? Like, I know that like, I, I used to struggle with that a lot. Yeah. You know, and, and having been in the game for like such a, like, such a long time. I mean, it's 20, it's not, it's not that long. Yeah. But like, for someone else, it might be a long time. But you look at like guys who come in, you have like one year, two years experience, like, and they're like, oh, doing stuff with clients that you thought that you could, you'd be working with. Yeah. You know what I mean? By now, yeah. You know, and I mean, I guess you're like, I mean, God's got his own plan, but like how he's going to, you know, integrate you into different spaces. Yeah, yeah. But like, you know, that, that pressure of being like, yeah, but like, you know, we've been there, you know, like, yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, like we've been shooting for a while, why are they shooting these kids yeah, or whatever, yeah, you know? Yeah. And that, that, that creates that anxiety as well, you know, and, and, and I guess it's just like, you know, just have to mind your own business. <laughs> mind, mind, mind your own. Mind yeah. your own and just stick to stick to your guns, man. And like, you know, and I think that's the most important thing. It's just like um creating creating a space where you know you, you can have like people that will have your back. Yeah. You know, um and also just like people you can be vulnerable with, you know, because that's the biggest thing. It's yeah. like why on the side. There's a lot of there's a lot of issues. Yeah, it could be you can you can either look at it as like ladies are probably going through the same thing, like not being like recognized. There's a lot of guys in the space, which is like also like a bit of a mess up. Yeah, you know, because yeah. like you see like five, ten guys, like which like people that you can like you can count in hand, you yeah, know, yeah. that are doing all of the jobs. Yeah, like, you get like ladies who are not like getting as celebrated, you know. And yeah. I want that what what uh, what the chicks are doing all and stuff. What I mean, I think it's Polly. She does uh, black photographer, uh, black women photographers. Uh, it's a group one from overseas. Oh, yeah. Oh, what an amazing you know, lady. Yeah. And, and I love what they're doing. Yeah. You know, like, and then you find like all kinds of people there, like yeah. doing all kinds of stuff. It's yeah. just ladies, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, there's things like that. That's beautiful. Like, that's that's just beautiful. You see, that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. There's a lot of conversations that could happen around that. Like, there could be a cause of like a lot of mental problems. Yeah. Um. You know, it's based on just like being, feeling like you're not being, being heard, you're not being, you know, um, picked amongst like everyone else because there's like the face. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, because yeah. there's the face. But, <laughs> but yeah, it's like, I guess it's just like, you know, the community thing is a big thing. Uh, I know not a lot of people are like as vocal as like other people. Yeah. You know, some people are vocal online, but they're not really vocal in person. Sure. Which becomes an issue as well. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they put on personas and whatever, and they act like it's just a grand. Sure, online, online yeah, yeah, but like yeah. people are like suffering. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. 
So I guess it's just like creating that space where you can be vulnerable, where you can be, you know, out of your depth as well. Like, you, you don't have to do the hardest shit every day. Yeah. You know, that's very you true. You don't have to. No. You know, and, there's, no, and, there's no pressure like that. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess also taking a break. Taking a break from the work, taking a break from the like the online spaces and stuff, because like a, a lot of the stuff create a lot of anxiety, create a lot of problems. You're always comparing yourself because you're like, oh yeah, someone else is doing my shit, whatever, yeah. or someone's getting opportunity. You know, it's also just like taking that time to kind of reflect. You know, I went through my own little, you know, my own little situation when I got sick. You know, now I'm a workaholic. You know, I'm a workaholic. And it's not even, it's, it's, I mean, it's a matter of activity. I really love what I'm doing, you know, but um, I had to learn the hard way that I need to take a break as well. Yeah. You know, and, and, and it's not always about the work, you know. Chasing the next shot and all that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The family, I need, like, I mean, and you also can't perform at 100% if you're always on. Yeah, yeah, that's you know what I mean? Yeah. Always gig on. after gig. You, you can't perform at yeah. 100%, you yeah. know. So now, yeah, it's just a matter of just making sure that, like, you know, the health is right. Mentally, we're in a good space, you know. So, yeah, I guess, I guess that's it. That's it. Like, it's just like a matter of just like taking, taking it easy and, you know, staying on your lane, doing your own thing, and then find like creating your own support structure. Yeah. Thank you. For, thank you for that advice. I think a support structure is so important and not just in the photography industry. Um, but even outside of that, just creating a safe space for yourself where you can be vulnerable even about your work. Yeah. As creators, well, I know I don't want my work getting judged by somebody else. But you know what? Sometimes you need that honest opinion from somebody else or you need that comfort from somebody else. Yeah. And I think it's also good, you know, to come to people you know, like yourselves in the industry. I, you know, I've been looking up to you guys for quite a while. And um, before I even started photography, dude, like... Come on, man, I look up to you. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm being for real. Like I said to you, like, yeah. I actively, I'm interested in what everyone is doing. Yeah. Because I really, really love, like, to see what, like, people, like, it's like, I love people. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm gonna, it's weird. Like, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a extroverted introvert. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very weird. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm shy in certain spaces, such spaces, I'm just like, loud. Yeah, but um, it's really cool to see what everyone is doing. Yeah, you know, it's really cool to be like to see how people like are changing, like how people change their styles. Like I can, I can, I can look at you and see and think, oh yeah, like what you're doing with color space and what you do with clients and like event stuff and how different those things are and how yeah. you grow in different spaces. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Because there's a genuine interest in that. You yeah. know what I mean? It's just like, oh cool, I see what you're doing, and like I said. And that's why I can, I can pick up my phone and be like, yo, dude, like, I can pitch in yeah. and, 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 and give you ideas that I think about, like, kind of space. Yeah. Because, like, as much as it's not mine, yeah. the stuff that I'm seeing, I'm like, oh, shit, dude, like, if, you, if you did this, this would be dope. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And it would be a shame for me to just, like, be like, ah, just like, this way, boy. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's and you watch from the sides, You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, that's what you fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, everybody can, like, pitch in and, like, yeah. We better off winning together. Dude, I, I, I really love that about you. I think you're one of the people that, like, you genuinely care. You know, when we have conversations, it's always like, hi, how are you? Like, Ukraine. Like, sure. before we get anywhere else, before we discuss work, no matter how urgent it is, Ukraine, boy, like, do you feel good to be able to, to answer this? And you, you give you quite a lot of feedback. So I would definitely say to all those watching guys, this guy is like, you deserve your flowers, dude. And I say this humbly on, on, a, on, on a real note. You inspire a lot of people, whether some people tell you or don't tell you, but you definitely inspire me in so many other ways. Just your human, your human, your humanity outside of the photography thing. When we chat on WhatsApp, you talking to me about color space. Like, there's no need for you to do that, yeah. but you do do that. So I really appreciate that, and I think you deserve your flowers. Everybody else should definitely give you your flowers, you and people must definitely join the photography group and um, on Twitter and definitely ask a lot of questions. I think they'll get a lot of different answers, but very much amazing information and direct from the sources. There's so much to learn from you and I'm glad that you, you know, you extracted a bit of that. Thank you, dude. Yeah. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And, I, and I mean, that space is for everyone. It's yeah. not, and, 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 and you know, I, I don't like the whole thing of like, oh yeah, the space and I'm from LA, or yeah. I know yeah. it's for everyone. Yeah. You know, and I really wanted to be a, a place where like, 
everyone can feel like, can feel like they own the space. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's that, but it's open, open for everyone and everyone can do what they need to do. Uh, at the end of the day, like we all learn, yeah. as much as like, you might put something there that I, I've never thought of. If you think about that like, guys like um, the, the McKelly brothers, like yeah. Justice and Innocent, what they used to do in the, in the photography space, you know, like, um, it was a technique, you know, they used to do panoramas and stuff, and you have like these long photos and yeah. that kind of vibe, like, you know, where it's like, someone never really thinks about like doing a panorama that's going to be like a lifestyle shot, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Never really think about those oh, things, shucks, that's actually. what they do. Yeah, now I'm thinking about actually, they used to do some amazing stuff. I mean, I yeah. Probably like up, there's water running here, and there's like yeah. a bush felt on the side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And things like that. Like, and, I, and I guess, like, um, for me, it's just like being experimental. And that's why, I, that's why I'm saying that the space is for everyone. You know, it's like you, you gotta open up open up your, your horizons. Like, yeah. don't, look, like, don't look at things like, I'm only gonna shoot one way, I'm yeah. only gonna shoot portraits. Yeah. I mean, that's that's cool that there's a space for that. You know, that people who wanna specialize and have a certain niche. Yeah. Like, for me, that's not, that doesn't work for me. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm a schizophrenic, I wanna, you know, put my hands in every single pie, yeah. you know what I mean, and yeah. experiment and actually push myself, you yeah. know? So I guess, like, that's what I'm saying with the space. You, to, you know, you, like, if the more we share, the more um, everyone's gonna have in their arsenal, awesome in terms of just like what do I like how do I um, tackle a, 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 a shoot in yeah. a fresh way yeah, or yeah, whatever yeah. or use that technique because we're all different can, yeah because that's the thing because you can take a bit of your, this and that and mix, mix it up and like have that put it into your own style like sure. really dope, you know sure. what I mean yeah. so yeah I definitely love that the sharing part of things I think like now that you mentioned it even like that just to think about us just sharing information like you see, I see a photo. I'm like, okay, where's this? How did you know? Mm-hmm. If, I, if I don't know that photographer, how do you think this was shot? Those conversations can help us so much. I know with lighting, I'm not so good, mm-hmm. but I know I can learn so much just from triggering three, four flashlights from yeah. you because I've something I've never done. I've attempted and it wasn't so great. So I, I really love the information sharing thing. So what's next for you now? Um, you know, you, you've been doing this amazing work. And you are you will continue doing amazing work. I mean, you know, you've got amazing clients with you. What's next for you now in the photography space and just in the creative space in general? I mean, for me, what's next is I mean, I, I guess I'm gonna just keep pushing, you know? Yeah. Just keep pushing, but I got, I wanna get to a point where like you know I can create a team around me, you know, because I've been doing this thing by myself for a long time. I mean, like, with the with the clients that I have. Unfortunately, some of the clients will give me a lot of like creative like room to like you know bring people together and stuff. And I have a producer that would not come every now and then, but I want to create a space where um, you know I have a team and, and, and people we can share. You know we can share the the, the clients and the work and you know what I mean. Like, yeah. It's like you know we're not getting any younger as well. Yeah. You know, so I'm not gonna be able to run around as much as I as yeah. I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, because I do. You know, I'm a big bag. <laughs> you know? But I'm not gonna be able to run around as much. But I wanna get to a, a point where you know we can create spaces like this, like your studio, which is amazing. Yeah, like, yeah I'm looking at it. I'm like, you know, next next studio shoot I'm gonna have will probably be yeah. Oh, thank you. You know, yeah. but um, yeah, it's like creating that. Like, and I've always had an idea of like creating a school. You know, it's always been in a, like on my mind. A photography school. Um, it was actually just like a creative school. Yeah. But like, yeah, photography school would be cool. You know, I, everyone, everyone comes together and just like share stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think you can put a course together for us, brother. I can chat. <laughs> I, I can chat. I, like, I mean, it's also because I mean it's different when you think yeah. about it. Like it's easy for me to like be on like on the fly. Like I think like my school would rather be like a practical one. Like, yeah. It's like, how assistance would be like a boot camp for assistance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Like yeah. a boot camp for assistance, and we all like, you know, learning on the fly, and like, you know, like that kind of vibe. We can find somebody who can write it down for us and structure. Because I, yeah. I just think, you know, let me put it this way I think we all have different ideas, right? We all, you know, my basics of photography would might be different to your basics, but they'll always be the same. Like, they'll always cross over, the same things are always there. So yeah. I think. It's so important for people to actually get some information from you, and you, you, you know, you said you said earlier on, people DM you all the time. People, uh, some people want mentorship and all these different types of things. But a basic photography course, I think, would be amazing by me. I think, Doug, like I, not even just by me, by yeah. us, yeah. <laughs> by all of us. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think 
it's one thing to learn the, the tools, like, because cameras work the same. Yeah. Like, cameras work the same. All yeah. cameras work the same. Yeah, they've got you the know, same functions, I guess. Yeah. Same function. Yeah. It's just, you know, technology is different. Yeah. All of those things. Yeah. But they do the same thing. Yeah. You know, it's either you're recording a video or you're doing stills. Sure. Shutter speed. <laughs> shutter. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Sure. You know, and I guess it's like, it's a, like it would be a school that's more about the approach than the tools. Yeah. Because it's easier, like it's it's easier to learn the tools, but it's not so easy to learn the approach. Sure. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. or, or, or to even think about the possibilities of things that can be done. With the same you tool, know? yeah. Because um, also, like, I mean, we all shoot different. There's guys that do, like, that do a lot of, like, stuff where they shoot for post. You right. know, they shoot for post and they want to, like, retouch and composite and do all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, like, there's some people who are like, I know, I want to get it right in camera. Sure. You know, and, and there's a space for all of that. Sure. You know, so I guess it's, it's, it would be that. It would be, a, it would be a matter of, like, you know, us teaching the approach and thinking creatively rather than it be like, okay, cool, here's a camera. Yeah. This is what you do. This is like a chat. You know, this is a chat. This is a chat. This is yeah. I mean, in a thousandth of a second, <laughs> <laughs> and you can find that online, I guess. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everyone teaches that, but yeah. that's the approach, you know. Yeah. And everyone has like, and that's what I was saying with the background and like the perspective and stuff. Everyone, everyone have like, everyone has their own workflows. Everyone has their own take on how they shoot. Yeah. Yeah. You know? I, I think it'll be amazing to like have a school like that. Oh yeah, definitely. It's like Marvel. It's like X Men. And the, per- yeah, and the person who walks out with all those skills, dude, yeah. I mean, imagine from different people yeah. or whatever, oh, it must be insane. Dude, thank you so much for coming to the to Be Real Conversations. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Like, I know we've been having, we've been postponing this thing for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And, and now we're finally here. And I guess, you know, I, I want to see more of this and I love what you're doing. I love what you're doing with Color Spaces. Thank you, brother. You know, the podcasts and stuff, like, I mean, the, the it's nice to have a channel where like, people can voice themselves and people can be heard. Yeah, know? yeah. Like, you know, we all talk online and it's never in depth. Yeah. You only have 160. <laughs> I mean, even, so, even this, I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like the interview was was very short, but, yeah. you know, it's, it's just been a pleasure having you here, dude. I think, like, it's not it's not about me, so you definitely don't need to tell me about kind of space, but it's really, I mean, I do these episodes to really shine light on you, dude. And uh, as I mentioned earlier on, you're such an amazing dude. So thank you, thank you for coming to Bureau Conversations. Do come back again. I think the conversation is never over. Like, there's always so much to say. To you. I'm going to be a resident. Just give me a segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a segment. Though. Give me a segment. We, we, we have a studio. <laughs> we, we have a studio now. We can record but, whatever you want. So. But thank you so much, man. I really, really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. Um, and thank, thanks for the support for everyone. You know, it's like we've got an online community of people just like really supporting us. And yeah. like, you know, there's, there's a lot of people that will keep showing up timeline yeah like either in your timeline and your comments and your likes and stuff like yeah. you know and those are the guys that like, keep us moving yeah you know and i yeah for me i i, I appreciate that so how, uh, how do we book you more how do we book more of you and appreciate you even more uh well you can catch me up, like i mean you can book me on my email okay you know that's more formal yeah, at, yeah. uh studio at mbumelelomarket.com okay uh, and then my website is mbumelelomarket.com Portfolio is there. I mean, social media is more active. Yeah. You know, and even then, I can mean, it's, yeah, it's not as active as I want it to be. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you're busy working. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. yeah, sometimes you're busy working instead of posting. But yeah, like, so you can catch me social media. It's Bumila Lomato everywhere. Bumila Lomato on, on Twitter, Instagram. And, and LinkedIn? LinkedIn also. Like, yeah, I mean, a child. You know, LinkedIn <laughs> LinkedIn is hard because it's more. It's like business speak. Yeah, you're funny suit. Yeah, it feels like really funny suit. Yeah. Oh, Mr. Moore, you have to be Mr. Moore. You have to, yeah, you have to have a certain tone on, yeah. on, on, on LinkedIn. Yeah. But yeah, LinkedIn as well. I'm on LinkedIn, so I'm going to do my Love that, man. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching Bureau roll Conversations. It's really, really been amazing. Um, yeah, thank you to Pumelelo for coming to the to the show. And if you also want to come to the show, hit me up. I mean, I talk to some amazing photographers and creatives in general. So come through to the show and please follow Pumelelo at Pumelelo Matu. Make sure you check out his website, pumelelomatu.com or the series today. Dot com and make sure you book him studio and pumelelomatu.com. Till the next episode. Peace. Thank you.